Hello, 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 and welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another, stop button, there we go, to another Chab Dog Sports Talk Show here live from our studios in Hermosa Beach, California. It is the Chab Dog Sports Talk Show where we're going to talk, well, sports, baseball, the number one uh, Kansas City Royals in the American League Central, right? Oh boy! Oh boy! That's a, that's why it's a topsy turkey year, among other things. And it is the topsy turkey day show here, where we'll, we'll mm-hmm. discuss anim- animal animals, appreciate. including in, you know, st- animal recognition you day. Still have the camera. Here. Well, we'll figure that out. But without further ado, here's your host, Brandon Chapner. Very close to you now. Let me go over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's Thank better, you, Mark. I'll change the camera. I'm just uh, trying to get myself oriented. Yes. Or, or, I'm getting, getting organized. Okay. Like orgasmatron? Uh, yes. Uh, you don't have one. I, I've been telling you to get an orgasmatron for a long time. But mm-hmm. You just won't oblige me. Yeah, they haven't invented it yet. It, would fit, it would fit perfectly right next to the Jerry's apartment over there. It would, actually. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the next innovation. In the next like 30 to 50 years, people will be able to have their own orgasmatron in the house. Yes, they'll have a and better one than anywhere else. You'll see a lot of uh, people working from the home more, I think. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, this uh, this will be more of a, a potpourri, a free-for-all day. We're <coughs> now getting into that, uh, another about to hit another really great great period of the year in terms of sports because n- you'll be able to come home if you like the NBA and watch the NBA playoffs every night pretty much and inside the NBA. I really get into that show. Uh, and then you got the NHL playoffs going on at the same time. So if, you, if that's more your cup of tea, then you can indulge yourself that way. And um, there's all the baseball scores. And golf. We have golf going on. Do you know the Masters is going on right now? Masters. English, yeah. motherfucker, do you speak it? Uh-huh. Yes. Masters, one of the four majors for golf. Uh-huh. Uh Scheffler, the favorite, Steve Scheffler, uh, had a bit of a, a bad day yesterday, so he's oh, not, yeah. he was he's in the he's chasing somebody. I forgot who's leading the tournament. Tiger blew up. He had yes, he made the cut, but shot ten over yesterday, which is really you know pretty bad for a pro golfer. Oh, by the way, the show is brought to you by oh. Yeah, brought to you by Law Offices of Brandon S. Chabner, serving Southern California's business and transactional legal needs, as well as estate planning. And so um, <clears throat> check it out at uh, chabnerlaw.com. I uh, also have a Facebook page. I don't do a whole lot with that, but you can find me on Facebook. Uh, and uh, brought to you also by Chab Dog Sports t- bl- Blog for your head of your sports headlines and finding sports commentary. And... Uh, I've got something figured prominently today. The uh, my all animal team guys, yes. guys who either are, have names that sound like animals or were have nicknames mm-hmm. based on animals, like the crime dog. <laughs> yeah, buried under here. There he is. The crime yeah. dog, but it's a really good list of players. I mean, that's why I don't think he, the crime dog made. The, I'm not sure if he made the starting lineup. He uh-huh. might be coming off the bench. Is there a suggestion <laughs> of bestiality going on here? Uh, I do love animals, okay. it's, but it's not bestiality. It's, it's just not bestiality. The lighter form of that. Uh-huh. Yeah. So um, I know you love yours too. You sleep with your your animal, right? Well, I don't get much of a choice. The animal sleeps chooses to sleep with me. Oh, yeah. Well, you can get up and go where he wants. Right? You you couldn't kick him off. Jump out. You couldn't kick him out of bed. Oh, I I would never do such things. Uh huh. I used to do that with my dog because I didn't like really having a the dog it was oh, hard for me to sleep like oh, that okay. oh, As it w- occurred no, you're i talking started about bestiality like then someone pulled the plug yeah and we, oh. plug, we plugged you back in again <sighs> did we pull the plug oh, on you, you guys oh look dorothy he's getting oh look at up. this we'll get to see uh, dorothy getting done up mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, look behind and aaron <laughs> not being done up that's really Oh, uh, really yeah, I have nice. this horrible cow leg on my chest. <laughs> and Aaron, <laughs> and you Aaron do, looking like Eli Alfalfa you there. Do look, that's a yeah. good cow leg. Yeah. You yeah. must have been sleeping in a weird position, man. Yeah, must have been something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this is the Animal Appreciation Show, so it's appropriate that you have a cow lick. Yes, yes, <laughs> love it. That's what I was going for. 
And uh, I guess is Abe a wall today? Um, yeah, I don't see Abe right now. Oh. He knows it showed. <clears throat> I've been putting too much pressure on him to come up with a, a good a good prize. Let me see if I can make this thing go away. <clears throat> so we'll have to see what happens here. Away. I, yeah, I did. I did to toot my own horn when they end up winning right. the, the, the the basketball pool. Uh-huh. And, oh, that's right. Uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> thanks to my animals, that was this week. the huskies. Yes, man, they were dominant, weren't yeah, they? You take your victory lap now. They just were. They were just. They had mm-hmm. so much energy, and it, it's, they got all the loose balls. Like every time there was a questionable situation when you didn't know what was going to happen, with who was going to end up with the ball, they had it. Didn't they? Now you're making it sound like it was rigged. I, I, it wasn't rigged. It was just they was were. Rigged. They were on something, you know. They were they were turned on, and the other they team got that dog like, in them. They have that dog in them. They they are just mm. they just killed everyone. For the yeah. second year year in a row, they won every game by double digits. One of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life. This UConn run will might not be replicated in my lifetime. It is really mm-hmm. something. And the coach, the coach was hungry. He was really hungry. Oh yeah, he's he's great. Yeah, he is one of the most intense guys, and he just unrelenting passion by Dan there, Hurley. There was that one instance where he actually started walking onto the court, and they had to—I guess they had to warn him. He almost got a technical because he went onto the court in the middle of the game, and then he started. He had that little chat with Edie. Did you know what he said to him? Oh, I don't know. He ch- he got into it with Edie. Yeah, a little bit. Edie cause... Gourmet. Edie Gourmet. Supporting a sandwich. He set a he set a really hard screen and um, oh. the UConn guy just ran into him and bounced back. Oh. They call a foul like they did in the women's game. I don't remember. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's like the no, difference. Card- in the- Cardoso railroaded that girl. Yeah, it's getting picked. It's being called on a pick and being not called on a pick. Right. Oh, it wasn't oh, the the, the, oh, the call in the women's play. was they called Connecticut for the foul. Yeah. Against. Yeah, Iowa, it was, right? Yeah, because there's a Cardozo is isn't she South Carolina? Oh, I'm mixing my Yeah, I was thinking of when they got in that <laughs> skirmish. I wasn't thinking of the illegal screenplay. Uh-huh. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Well, also shout out, congratulations to the University of South Carolina for that. Yes. Also a very dominant performance. Speaking of dominant, you should ask Dorothy yeah, what she's doing here because it's not often that she comes on. Oh. Dorothy's getting her hair done. And peering on the show at the same time. Yes. How do you do both those things? That's that's difficult. You have her turn on. your mic on. Turn, turn your mic on, Dorothy. Her mic's not on. Turn your mic on, Dorothy. <laughs> nope. Oh, she can't reach it. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, she'll turn it on well, when she can. She's got to stay in the background. I don't her. want her moving her beautiful head and, and screwing up her haircut because she's trying to be on the show. Precisely. You know, that would be a bad situation, yeah, I think. Yeah, we want to. So, She'll pipe up when she can. Yeah, just you know, Dorothy, chime in when you can. Uh, yeah, so I was getting pretty, Aaron, I was getting pretty desperate for something to watch on TV, so I ended up looking at the uh, Purdue spring football game between the, there was, oh you know, the, the black and the, the, the yellow or something. That, yeah. that is the hardest thing to watch on TV, one of those spring games, because nobody's it's tackling spring, anybody. It's just- Practice. It's a Scourge. practice. Yeah. Yeah. The game that you they, love that, and believe I know. And for. It's practice. But the colleges make a big deal about it. Like, a lot of the kids go to them and they pay money. I mean, it's an it's an actual, uh, like, treat it like a spectator. Yeah, I don't think Penn State, I'm pretty sure Penn State still doesn't charge tickets for oh. that. They don't fill the stadium, but they get, I don't know, what, 40,000, maybe, maybe less. I mean, like 25,000 people to show yeah. up, but... Yeah, it's a it's a huge weekend. I mean, I don't know about the southern schools, but at Penn State is always the start of spring, so it was really when the weather started to get nice, and there was always uh, there'd be a like a carnival outside the stadium, and they just made it a whole weekend. But mm. yeah, it's uh, so it's, it's a, a great it's a social big opportunity. It's been a lot of places. It's a fun weekend. Kids. Good good chance for a guy maybe to get uh, you know get some action. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's everyone's frisky uh, on the, for spring football. Really, mm. even for uh, well, not if you go to Yale. Fifty, 50 plus eight. <laughs> if you go men over age fifty, <laughs> that include men over age fifty. Yeah, 
No, I, or women over age fifty. In Alabama, though, it's a big deal. My son was going to his, with his fraternity oh, to this yes. thing, so I bet the sor- sororities go too. But mm-hmm. it's just hard to watch because you've seen sorority row. You you've seen sorority row at the University of Alabama. Yes, and of course. It's not just a row of any old buildings. No, it's no. beautiful buildings. It, yeah, oh, it's a row of beautiful buildings with beautiful trees, uh-huh. magnolias, huge and big. Yeah. You know. What do you call them in the front of the home? Columns. Yes, columns. And and that's called a column. And then they have porches. Porches, yeah. But they, they're they <laughs> like fenced in. It's it's like the king's coming out, the queen coming out. Yeah. I, the, well, we the went where there's... They, when we were there, they were having these... I don't know what you call... I guess there were just big parties. It was... Cotillions? Was, mm-hmm. The girls were dressed up in yes. beautiful you know dresses. And the nines. The guys had tuxedos on. And mm-hmm. it, it, it was the southern... The southern dolls. Yeah, the yeah. southern gentility, the whole effect. Oh, it looks like so, uh, somebody. Oh, who do we pick up? The Discord channel. Darth Raber. Darth Raber. Oh, and he just turned his camera uh, off. Oh, well. Well, he'll be back on, he'll right? Be, he'll be back. There's I'll Dorothy D. Back. Look uh-huh. at a gorgeous Dorothy D transforming before our eyes. Did you get it back? Yeah. We still don't have her mic yet, but. She's still, yeah, muted. Yeah, we're, you're still muted, Dorothy, but we are watching the progress here. Mm. In the hair salon, where she's got some kind of sport going in the background, of course. It's like Dorothy D. Sport checks. Yeah, look at that. It's got the eyebrows in. Yeah. Oh. Abe, you there? Abe Miranda, how about you? You got your mic on? I got the mic on. How are uh, you? Oh, doing? looking good. How? Yeah. Wow. Happy, you your... happy, happy Sunday, everybody. Uh, yes. And. I, and it just a huge shout out to Jabdoff for doing such a great, uh, doing such a great job uh, of picking oh. out our winner. Uh, I took with UConn your pool. for uh, NCAA men's tournament champion. So yes. big shout out to you, to you, Jabdoff. I hope you're working on something good over there, Abe. We are working on something good for you, <laughs> and I think you're going to like it. I just uh, oh my god, have I'll to get stop really by the studio it. and have to uh, give it to you. I guess you have person. to make your. You're gonna make a trip down here and present me with what whatever it is. Yes, I think that's. <laughs> I think it's only appropriate. Oh boy, I can't wait. Well, though, let me, yeah, it won't be next week because uh, Chab. Dog yeah, be, I won't be here next week. El so. Chab. Do- El Chab Doggo. Uh, it'll have to be two All weeks. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, Abe, for well, organizing that. it for the following week. Yeah, are you going to do anything for the NHL or NBA playoffs like you did last year? Didn't we do something last year? I, that might be the year. Uh, uh, we only did it for March Madness, I, I recall, uh, but okay. I'll, I'll take a look and see if I can set well, something. Well, we, we don't even need out. prizes, but, you know, we did. I thought we had some kind of for the hockey, at least, because I remember We did. Brooks, we yeah. did. We had it. Of course, Dorothy might might take more of an interest if the Red Wings are in it, right? Oh my gosh, it's coming down to the end. They had a big win. They had a big win the other yesterday, last, right? Last night, huge win. Oh, and then two, three well. nights ago, overtime. They came back from three to five against Pittsburgh Penguins, who are they're fighting against for uh-huh. playoff. And they came back 5-5, five, five, went into overtime, and then Pittsburgh scored, and I the know. Red Wings were heartbroken because it was such an important win, but they won yesterday. Okay. They right, and Pittsburgh overtime. lost to the Bruins. My Bruins beat my Penguins 6-5 to five or 6-4. So I think Detroit's oh. going to probably make it. I hope. It's been yeah. – we're not used to not being – Playoffs, you know, we are the longest franchise in history to go consecutive playoff appearances in yeah. all sports. Mm. Um, <laughs> it's just weird thinking <laughs> Detroit friend. is an underdog. That's She's, hockey town. Uh, my my hairstylist here is really my friend, and mm-hmm. how I know her is she dates one of my Michigander friends. Mm. So um, she's laughing. Awesome. She's <laughs> laughing about how I know so much about Detroit sports. I teach her so she can, you uh, know, hang with her, with her Michigander man. Mm. <laughs> so Dorothy, uh, uh, what do you tell us what you, you told me the other day, but tell us what you're doing today and why you're in the salon yeah. so early. I'm extra voluminous today with mm. my hair. Um, I have a photo shoot today for my um, 
acting endeavors. Mm-hmm. I'm giving acting another shot in my life. I did it in my young 20s when I was a hot bimbo. Mm. And now, I, <laughs> and yeah, now wanna, that I'm why in not? my Curb your enthusiasm. Uh, ripe, fine aged 48 year old, I figure the yeah. females is a little different. You know, mm-hmm. those other hot bimbets have maybe given up. And I'm coming back around and yeah, giving it giving it a go again. You never know. This could be your like your demo reel. Love it. You know, you could pick. Yeah, and, and maybe I'll be on Ozempic or Trulicity. <laughs> <laughs> Trulicity. <laughs> anyway, that's a new one. Don't do it. Just I mean, learn how to eat. <laughs> she's got. You yeah. got kind of a. You got kind of a mixture of different, like beautiful women I've seen in movies. Looks like I think you see some Barbara Eden there. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah. But and if I thought more about it, I'd throw in a few other ones that come to mind. So. See some Dorothy Dawn there too. Yeah, I mean it's you, but it's like that's the nice thing is somebody sees you and they might it might trigger some kind of um, you know really really uh, strong feelings because of uh, the other women that they've seen that look like you in the movies. Okay. All right, uh, old and old man's Margot Robbie. <laughs> oh, what is Margot Robbie? Oh, man's Margot Robbie. Man's Margot Robbie. This oh, what a dude that. said to me. You don't get it? Sure. Like, have to check that thanks. out. That's pretty hardcore. <laughs> I'll take that. You got to take that. Yeah. He's an Eagle, Philadelphia, huge Eagle fan. You, you know how those people are. Oh, yeah. Uh, blunt. <laughs> My goodness. Old man's Margot Robbie. Rude. Uh-huh. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Well, um, in honor of this show, I did put this list together. Do you want to just look at that real quick and I yeah. get your thoughts on maybe if I miss somebody? Let me bring um, this up here. So we, we go to chabdog.com because that's the best place to go, and that's where this list yeah. is sitting right now. This is where you can, can find all of our greatest thoughts and revelations. Uh, so they're really you could really put together a great team based on um, – you know, players that either have names that sound like animals or actual nicknames. So, um, Whitey Herzog, the white rat, you remember him? Well, yeah, yeah sure. He coached, your, red eyes. he coached the Cardinals, didn't he? And the, um, did he coach the Royals too? Did he? I think he did. Uh-huh. Yeah, he was coaching the Royals in the 70s, wasn't he? Anybody want to help me out here? Bueller? Bueller? Well. I don't know the 70s. Nobody remembers yeah, that far it. that far back, but I think he was the coach when the the Royals were fighting. Bueller, the, uh, they were Bueller. fighting the Yankees all the time. Bueller. So uh, he was the white rat. He had a lot of white hair. There's a guy named Hippo Vaughn That's that was awesome. a, rat. a great pitcher who was actually only about two fifteen, but he was for the time back in the early Hippo Vaughn nineties. He was big. So two fifteen was big back then. Yeah, six yeah, four was. though. Six four though. We had two point four nine ERA. And that's look at all those appearances. Yeah. That's okay. He, he's, he's pretty legit. good, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. And he and Harvey Haddix, the kitten. No, never heard of that one. He's your Jerry's favorite pitcher. It's Jerry's, eh? Oh, or Jim Cat. He might like Jim Cat a lot. Well, that's Cat. He's his two A's there. He's in the Hall of Fame. A lot of gold gloves. Old Haas Radborn. Back in the eighteen late eighteen hundreds, those guys oh. racked up some serious uh, win totals. Uh-huh. He'd have a lot of thirty win seasons. I don't know how they did that, but. Uh, he 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 compiled a great record over about twelve years, I think. Goose Gossage. Well, uh, unlike Jacob Del Home, you know the team would play fucking defense for him. That's what. That's how he did it. <laughs> uh, the other thing, you know, realize in back then they didn't have enclosed stadiums, no. so there was no way to hit the ball out of the park. So you had a lot of triples and fewer home runs. Mm-hmm. And okay. between all that, and I don't know, maybe the balls were kind of dead. So, uh, pitchers could get more done and last longer. Mm-hmm. Uh, Goose Gossage, of course, Yankees pitcher and yeah, uh, that's Padres. Yeah, name. Goose the Goose. Uh-huh. And then Jimmy the Jimmy Fox, the Beast. This guy was um, pride, a Fox. How can he be the a pride beast? of uh, Maryland? He okay. was born in Maryland and he played for the Philadelphia A's and uh, part of their championship teams and was just a monster at the plate. Um, Dangerous, dangerous hitter. And then, of course, Lou Gehrig, the Iron Horse at first base. Nellie Fox at you second. Over Yogi Berra? 
No, I oh Yogi Bear, I forgot. Yeah, how okay. could I forget? He didn't really uh, have a, a animal nickname, but he he was called Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear, yeah, Yogi Bear. Yogi yeah. Bear. In fact, yeah. they named Yogi Bear after him. Oh, is that right? It's like it's like Chuck Norris, you know. Oh, yeah. I had a feeling I mean, that's how that went. Women don't bring flowers. That'd to be Chuck a crazy Norris. coincidence. Or Chuck Norris doesn't bring women to flowers to women. You know, flowers bring themselves to Chuck Norris. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Nellie Fox played second base for the White Sox. Uh-huh. Had a really long, uh, storied career. There was a guy named Rabbit Moranville who played shortstop and, and Run Rabbit. Wasn't there that book series? Yeah. Rabbit uh, the Updike. Updike. John Updike. John Updike may have written a book yeah, about author him. Author that nobody ever reads anymore, but we had it shoved down our uh-huh. throats growing up. There's a pirate representative, Bill Mad Dog Madlock. Four yeah. batting titles. That's a lot of batting titles. Uh-huh. And uh, Ducky Medwick in okay, left so field. Okay, the duck guy. Yeah. Well, look at some photographs. He's he was a famous player long. for the Cardinals. Uh-huh. And won the Triple Crown, which is huge. Uh, Dave Parker, the Cobra. You know why they called him the Cobra? Because uh, he spit fangs. He bl- <laughs> blinded people with his spit. He, 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 he stood at the plate. <laughs> yeah. He, he had his bat, and he wiggled the bat like a cobra. Uh. Yeah. 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 If you go on YouTube and you, you um, search cat versus cobra, you can see cats taking on cobras, and they win every time. Oh, sure. I'm not kidding. They're faster. You want to try that with your cat? Yeah, Jerry's. Uh-huh. He takes out Hustfly. Yeah, he could he do a cobra. Uh-huh. <laughs> There. Anyway. Jerry, so, Jerry yeah. can take out anything, Eric. He does. Jerry He's a cat. magical cat. Mm-hmm. He removes all the... It's like, this place is bugless because of him. Clyde Meow Deerfoot. Deerfoot. That's a By the name, way, huh? Chad By Dog, way. I have uh, yeah. just wanted to give you some good news. What? Let you know that both our NBA playoff bracket challenge and our NHL bracket challenge is up. I have the link. Uh, I'll share it on social oh, media, awesome. uh, letting you know that the so the NBA one the bracket will open up today. Today, in about six hours from now, the bracket will open up, mm. and I believe it'll be open till about April twentieth. I believe. I think that's when the NBA playoffs start. So yes. you gotta you gotta get oh. in before april 20th but the bracket opens in six hours from now okay but don't you so have you the plan game yeah, the plan cup tournament to deal with yeah, first? it's gonna open yeah it's gonna open before the playing game so you might want to wait to see if lebron yeah. gets through before you pick him to go all the way you can, you can wait. yeah if you, like you pick the lebron and he doesn't even get in because they get, they get back <laughs> in the playoffs or the the warriors now go home and get your fucking shine box. Yeah. Well, there you yeah, go. So. You wait to see how that plays out before the deadline, before the brackets lock. Mm-hmm. We love yes. winners. And then, and then the hockey challenge or the bracket playoff challenge will open up in about four four days from now. Uh, so uh, the the four days for the hockey playoffs. And then six hours from now for the NBA playoffs bracket. But they're both up. I'll share them on Mm. Facebook and social media so that you can uh, get your picks in uh, once the brackets open up. And then it'll be like the if 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 I win the hockey and the basketball, I like I'll win the triple crown, right? (laughs) Yeah, you would win a triple crown. Yeah, it'll never happen. But let's dream. I mean, let's face it. Possible. I think world, there's a, a trophy in order for that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's making, making me feel better as after getting last place in the football pool. I just I needed this for my <laughs> psychological well being. I was yeah, feeling very it worthless. Was a, thanks Good to you, UConn. To redeem your manhood here. Dorothy, did you compete in the NCAA pool or not? Not in yours. I'm so sorry, you guys. I had five and another one. Damn, I so can't I, even say I beat her five. I was done with that. I was exhausted. I couldn't do any more. Yeah. I didn't think but I did would, choose yeah. UConn on one of mine. You t- you chose UConn? Mm-hmm. Yep, on one of mine. And then oh. to go with the animal theme today, one of mine, I chose mascots that were the closest to a dog. Mm-hmm. And that one didn't do well at all. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it was kind of fun. <laughs> well, huskies are dogs. Hmm. That's true, but okay, wait a minute. I have to mm -hmm. do a little caveat. I was with one of my Spartan friends, and we were doing this because we were with his dog, mm -hmm. and he wanted the Spartans to go all the way regardless of what the dog was. So oh, it was Spartans winning the that Spartans. animal one. Okay. So. They went out after one one win, and then they're one and done. That was that. Uh, At least they got past the first one. Okay. I remember. Well, anyway, <laughs> whatever. Ten years ago, when they got out by Middle Tennessee, and they were supposed to be the best. Oh my gosh, I'll never forget that. I was like sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had them going far that year. That was brutal. Mm -hmm. That was the Denzel Valentine team. Yeah, yeah. That was a really yeah. They were really Just good. And yep. Sucked. Yeah, they finish. were crying. I remember they were really Ugh. upset. <laughs> You never know. You can't list. be too um, We have we uh, we're almost done with the Bend list. Bend over here. It comes again. Okay, we'll get back to the list. <laughs> yeah, I got to give all these people the props they deserve. Um, so Fred here? McGriff was actually on the bench because he played left field, and we we already had Duck. Uh, but he's the crime dog. We already had a Ducky Medwick in left field. Fred McGriff's a close second. He got in the Hall of Fame though. Okay. And then uh, there was a guy named Ralph Gar who was a roadrunner. I found that interesting. He had two nicknames, the roadrunner and Gator. Um, Gator McCluskey. Yeah, so he actually probably wins because he had two animal nicknames. And then you, you had uh, Johnny Mize, the big cat. He, he looked like a Cheshire cat if you look at his picture. Um, okay. I should have sent it to you. And, uh, of course, Dave Kingman, who was called Kong. I love Dave Kingman. Did you like Dave Kingman, uh, Aaron? He's the only Met entry. In uh, he? he just struck out too much. He had a bunch of home runs. He played for a bunch <laughs> of lousy Mets teams. And yeah. he, all he did was hit home runs. He, he didn't get on base. He didn't really so do anything bad else. Memories, so bad memories, basically. I'm sure he was fun. I, didn't, I don't have memories. I wasn't around then. No. But you know, around that's then. from what I know, he just smashed it. He hit are. some really big bombs, but yeah, he just swung at everything and just hoped that hoped that he found yeah. the ball. He had, I think, about the highest ratio of homers to his hits of anybody in history. Dave he King had like had. a Josh Donaldson last year. Like Josh Donaldson last year, I think, like half of his home runs were yeah. half of his hits were home runs. And um, yeah, of course, I, I can I can imagine him being that type of player for sure. You never saw. Did you ever see Ron Say run the bases? He looked like a penguin when he ran. <laughs> he ran, he waddled. Ron Say, yeah. 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 I've seen some film of that one time. <laughs> very, uh, very high war. But not like uh, the antelope. Omar, uh, Omar, Omar Moreno stole a fifth, almost 500 bases for the Pirates. He played shit. center field. No wonder they called him antelope. Yeah, he was fast. Uh -huh. Couldn't hit, though. Um, so, so that's. That's all for that. Uh, I do have the Mets Pirates uh, fight. You could show that. Uh, that br brings Ooh. back some good memories. Oh, Mets Pirates! I show yeah. that. Yeah, interesting. This is like, I didn't see this, that one. Do you remember this? This was from 1986 because um, they Pirates had this pitcher Rick Roden on the mound who liked to. They, they got accused. He got accused of scuffing the baseball all the time. It all started in the fifth when the Mets wanted to take a look at Pittsburgh pitcher Rick Roden's glove. Oh. Well, Jim Leland We've took a step to that, got a couple of words here. in, and then Roden went back to pitching. Oh, there we go. And he gets Gary yeah. Carter Put it on the full screen. Oh. to end the inning. But watch what happens as Gary Roden Carter, I hate you, field, Gary Carter. Buck, and now Mets first base coach Bill Robinson. This guy used to oh, play. Yeah. He used to play for the Pirates. The empty, but it's a Bill Robinson. Ball. He he no tried to cold back. cock no Roden. And it was a big melee. <laughs> the umps got him, and then Barry Bonds won the game with this hit. Oh wow, that's a young Barry Bonds. Barry U.S. Bonds, look at that. Yeah, Doink. that that was no, actually was baseball was baseball. That was actually <laughs> the year yeah, the Mets seven won. That was the year that, but that was the year the Mets went to the world, won the World Series, right, nineteen eighty six. Yeah, that's yeah. how we got to the World Series. Just beat everyone up. Mm -hmm. Not that day. So were you alive then? You weren't alive then, were you? I was months. I was months old. <laughs> oh, you were in June. I was born during that season. Nice. Born in June. Yeah. So you did live to see it. Oh, uh, yeah. Technically, I I, I won my uh, won my championship. Yeah. Good luck for them. Mm -hmm. I told. Uh, not since then. Yeah, it's nice. I my birthday 
on my birthday, the Red Sox threw uh, when I day I was born, the Red Sox threw a, a no hitter. And oh wow, uh, yeah. And then nine days, nine years later, on my birthday, the Pirates beat the Cubs twenty-two to nothing, and Rennie Stennett got seven hits in seven at bats. I have to so see what the Mets did. I got that going for me, which is nice. Mm-hmm. You, you know who who passed away this week? Speaking of birds, oh, passings. O.J. Simpson. Yes. Yes, the juice. Yeah. 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 Do you want to play any juice clips? Yeah. What, what, I've got <laughs> I've got something. You got something? Yeah, I mean we I sent you something and with OJ? Yeah. When? You know that that clip we were looking at before the the sto- show started and you said I don't know if we want to play this cuz we get um Oh, OJ that's OJ running around in yeah. football. Yeah. Yeah, I want to show OJ, you know, well, like he thought he could act. Nobody's going to know what this movie Six. is though. Five. We have outboard engines. The 1978 Why is it? Engine. Why is it? Okay. Zero. Yeah. We have a launch commit. We have a liftoff at 35 minutes after the hour. Every split second of this historic this flight. The trailer. Uh-huh. Every section. detail. We call that section, every heart. section 107. 107 of the Copyright Act where we get to play things. Because yes. this is historical context. For, this is for educational for, and emotional value. Yeah, because we're emotionally attached to O.J. Simpson. Yeah. I'm Howard trying to. to sell. We, oh, got, there's Brenda Stanley Vaccaro. Person. Brenda Vaccaro there. She's emotionally I loved her Simpson in too. Midnight Cowboy. Remember that? She got rode. <laughs> remember when John <laughs> Voigt, remember. John Voigt played Scrabble with her yes. and she she made the word gay or something and he got mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's close enough. <laughs> I don't have problems like that. control in Houston. He was a little upset he couldn't get it up eventually got mm. going. There's Hal Holbrook right there. Mm-hmm. We have landed. Yay. As millions all over the world watched and listened, the pre- you see that shot there, everybody outside? Yeah. That, is, that, that is that James Hampton? Did I just As unintentionally throw world. James Hampton into yeah, this? That. Is that him? I don't think it's James Hampton, but I was saying that's an era where oh. you'd have TV stores and people would actually walk yeah. by. And that's how, you know, this is your cell phone. That's back how then. TVs were sold back that's then. That's how you got the news. You know, you'd just be walking by and you could see, you know, Kennedy mm-hmm. getting shot and on the the latest, uh, you know, well, cars getting yeah, sell. The president when people of the actually United shop States for TVs as opposed to getting on Amazon. Exactly. You have to go to a store. To the men of Capricorn 1, I bring you greetings from your fellow Americans. So I suppose it's funny what they're, they're trying to do this today. Land, man on Mars, that's what Elon happened. Musk is working on, and here it is. It's all a lie. Fake. A fantastic $30 billion hoax. That was Something treat wrong. Uh, Elliot Gould. Yeah. I love Deep Elliot enough, Gould. You might uncover the truth. Those signals couldn't have come from three miles. Yeah. But the odds are... Lou Grant. I'm not moving an inch. Isn't that Harvey Cartel? Everybody's in this movie. Freeze. Yeah. Uh, it looked I like Harvey Cartel. No? Boy, it's funny. I was shaking that way when it comes over. But the odds are... Here. Yeah, the cop. Never lived to tell it. Freeze! I'm not All right, just play it. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get We're on the plane together. This one? There's a device. It's on the plane. There's some people. If I don't get in the all-clear signal, they'll explode it. Okay. Mm, I don't know. Where is OJ? Something big. It's coming. It's more like There's the, OJ. It's more like Same. the Elliot Gould show. We are dead. You tell me you're in trouble, you're out on bail. Because OJ had a, a very and minor part. Yeah. You look awful. Thank you very much. She was in an airplane. She always looked like she was. There he is. There's the juice. Mm. They gave one shot there. Mm. Mm. You look good. Mm. That's right, yeah. So close. It's hard to believe. It's got my health. See if I can work on rid of the fuzzies, but you get the idea. Yeah. So, good, we saw it. Oh. We the OJ part. I had a question for Dorothy, actually. Yeah. Dorothy, do you, th- do you think yeah. that o- do you think OJ Simpson's a good-looking guy? Um, not bad. He's not bad. Uh huh. Yeah. So you can mm-hmm. ask her. Uh, do you think he was guilty? <laughs> let's take a That's let's take a, let's take a vote. But <laughs> let, her let her finish. Okay. Oh well, I wanted to tell you, my grandpa Malsack did meet him on the airplane, and oh. uh, he told um him that my dad was a fan and was a minister and so he signed a book for my dad and my dad still has it, it says peace Ooh. and love oj simpson and 
I forever have been signing my name, peace and love as well, just like OJ. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. that's, that's awesome. That was way before all the, you know, craziness, 1994. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, do I think he was guilty? Back then, I thought no. Okay. In the 90s. Because the no. gloves didn't fit, right? Yep. Gloves didn't fit. It was odd. <clears throat> yeah, you never give the defense attorney uh, a chance to, to do something like that if you don't know how that's going to turn out. And, I mean, they somehow that didn't account for that. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And I don't know. That was pretty. Com- that was pretty compelling. Even though there was so much other evidence, Aaron, innocent or guilty? OJ. Yeah, he did. He did. He's he's guilty. I mean, they found him guilty in the civil trial. That's civil, though. That's different burden, burden of proof. Different though. burden of proof. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I think he. I think he did it. Hey, Miranda, guilty or innocent? Guilty. <laughs> guilty. Guilty. Guilty, guilty. Oh, you thought he was guilty right from day one. You thought he was guilty? Mm-hmm. Wow. And you? Me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it, more likely than not he did it. But um, do I think he should have been convicted? Uh, I didn't hear all the evidence. I didn't see all the evidence. I can't really say anything about that. Wow. <clears throat> Interesting answer. And, and myself, I... Uh, I couldn't believe that OJ would do such a brutal thing and slash people. You know, it's one mm-hmm. thing killing somebody quick, shooting with a gun, or you know, but not like the, the way it was done, ear to mm. ear, and the thrashing, the slashing, the blood, and everything. I just couldn't. I couldn't believe that this man OJ, the, who I thought I knew, would have done such a it thing. It was very brutal. Huh? So I, I didn't think mm-hmm. so from the beginning. Uh, it wasn't until the ESPN Thirty for Thirty that oh. came out, maybe ten years ago. So you that. you just oh, saw I- something that. Well, so it was 10 years ago that sort of pushed me over to say, yeah, it looks like it was, it was either him or it was his son. Somebody that he had. Who has the it. same DNA, by the way. Uh, who, oh. Uh, yeah, and he covered for his son because his son did the crime. Mm. So, but in terms of OJ or, or maybe it's, yeah, I, I think it was OJ's son, but in any event, uh, I did didn't Did they think so. bring the son into the court case? Never. I don't remember. Never. He was never brought up. No, but he hmm. he did he did show up on the um, Bruno movie that we saw. Remember when they they, they had the, the kid being shipped uh, through the uh, air, air the conveyor belt, and it, the, he picks <laughs> the, he picks the there? kid up and he says, "Oh, this is baby OJ." Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wish we had that clip. He's getting divorced this week. You know, uh, he's been in the news for the wrong reason. <laughs> Bruno. Yeah. He, is I hope there's no allegations of sexual improprieties or something. Well, I don't know about that, but yeah, poor Sasha, Sasha here. Baron Cohen. Hey, why is this thing still shaking here? What? Well, I want to play something. We've got it. The sh- our our clip machine has the shakes, it's shaking like a man with Parkinson's. Yeah, I guess I got to feed it more alcohol oh. or something. Let's see if that's Did oh good. You? Okay, now we got. What are you playing stuff. now? Uh, there we go. Uh, the Howard Cosell show that he was trying to run up against Saturday Night oh. Live in the seventies. <clears throat> I just want to say OJ was a great commentator as well. He was excellent uh, both on the field and in the booth. If you saw him do his stuff for NBC, he just had a a lot of charisma. And um, he would have been very successful with that, I think, if he just stayed with it. But, you know, these other things messed him up. Whatever uh, he did or didn't do, it, it just derailed him. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but sometimes relationships bring out the worst in people. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're toxic mm-hmm. like that, and people things that you never thought they'd do. I've been there myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how many people did you slash with a knife, uh, Dorothy? <laughs> what's what's your count at these days? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> right I mean, answer. Did you ever get that mad at anybody that either you dumped or that dumped you? I mean, I just when I was younger. I never yeah. got that mad. No? It's like I just kind of accepted it because yeah, you're not Sicilian. You do it, and yeah. it, it gets done to you, and that's the way life is. <laughs> yeah, usually once I'm dumped, like I act like I don't care at all and move. You know, don't ever talk to the person. I um, mean, it's usually when I'm in a relationship mm. that I can 
get a little evil. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but if someone breaks up with me, I'm like, move on. Like, yeah, you just drop those done. feelings. Yeah, I don't come them. back around and slash them, no. You burn the boats. Yeah, you, you burn the boats so there's no way to go back. I Go thought away. I heard that Marcus. I, I thought I heard somewhere that Marcus Allen was also involved with Nicole Brown. Yes, and that was part <laughs> of the. Yes, you're saying yes, right? Oh yeah, that was that. That's been out there for a while. And so, so maybe back, remember when he was going for the Heisman, and he's USC. Mm-hmm. And uh, and he and there was it was known then that that he and, and Nicole were getting down. Oh yeah, were you in town back then? So maybe maybe OJ was upset about something he thought was happening on that end too yeah i mean uh, would you want to get cucked by that way by the up-and-coming guy and then every the whole media was placing it that he was being replaced by marcus allen ha 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 oh. the young oj simpson you know who we're talking about dorothy marcus allen it, it rings a bell yeah he was the hero of the super bowl when the um redskins and the raiders played it was in 84. 84 yeah january 84 mm-hmm. And he played okay. for USC. 80, so he was like the next. It was 82, 83. Oh, January 83. Uh, okay. January 83. No, I thought that was the Dolphins. But anyway. That was um, for yeah. it. Uh, January 82 yeah. was Dolphins. No, you're right. January 83 it was. So January, January 83 was the Dolphins because that was before yeah. I went to college. I remember that. That January was like my send off. Uh, the, Re- the Reds. Oh, yeah, I got it wrong. Raiders. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I went to college. Actually, Dean, 17 and 18, Dean's like part of that whole thing because with Dean and I saw that Super Bowl where the Redskins yeah. went in favored and they got destroyed. Yeah, got destroyed. There's no, it was just completely run yeah. over. Yeah. And Marcus Allen turned out to be the big hero. Yeah, that was, yeah. MVP. Huh. Yeah. So I think we can run this now. Oh, okay. Howard Cosell. Yeah. His so. attempt to ha- come up with his own primetime show. Six million dollars of go, can you go back to the beginning? Dynamic and bionic, Lee Majors. He'll be with us tonight on Saturday Night Live. Thank you, Howard, but I'm really looking forward to seeing the real six million dollar man, O.J. Simpson. He's worth he's twelve got, million. He's got me drinking orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Awesome. Is that where they came up with? No, but they called him the juice for a long time. Oh yeah, yeah, they called him juice because uh, the power, the electricity, you know, coming from nearby Niagara Falls, the electric company is front line. Yeah, it was a great story. Is that where the name came from? Yes. Power Company? Yeah. The, yeah. His, I his, thought it his was line the, was called the Power Company, like and he the was the juice, juice. The juice runs, you know. It's the power, the juice going through the lines, the power of, of you know, juice's electricity. Oh. OJ. And OJ the juice, or OJ orange juice. Yeah. It was, but the power, mm-hmm. I mean, the whole thing around Buffalo was like the Power Company. Like in prison, they serve a lot of fresh-squeezed OJ. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The joke That's the show. joke. There we go. Uh huh. All right. Okay. We're almost well, up, up the, the are you gonna, part. You're, you're not going to. You're not going to play the uh, the juice clip though. Oh, the juice clip with yeah. him running. Um. I, so, so we play a second of it, but the I NFL just goes nuts when we do that. But people should see how good he was. All right. Because the thing with him was he never. I think it, people have completely it was overlooked just like the very fact now that flowing running. It wasn't like nothing was forced. It was graceful. Actually, and through, the, the, through this interruption bar, it's kind of, it's, I think it's zapping their system. But you get the oh. idea. See how great he's running there? Yeah. Just a, a, hu- a combination of speed, agility, and power. Uh, Look at that. Look at that acceleration. I think he was. He ain't going to the sideline. He's he, like, you I prefer take me his on. running. Look at that. Whoa. And he's, and he's hurt, too. And he's looking at him go. Just ran away from people. Yeah. Look at that. He's limping and he's running away from people. It's kind of amazing the Bills never did anything with him in, the, in terms of winning anything. Okay. Well, because that's, uh, yeah, unfortunately all they ever had. But. No, they were, they were dealing with uh, the Steelers and Cowboys. There were just a lot of super teams in the 70s. They, could, they had no way to challenge. Mm-hmm. So, um, all right, yeah, well, are we up to the, you want to just let Dorothy, I think she should talk about her uh, agenda for the day. Well, yeah, Dorothy of the Himalayas. Uh-huh. But hold on, let me get. I need to get her slide up here. Cause it's just okay. Gonna... Give me a moment here. And then after that, we'll we'll talk about the NBA and uh, NHL playoffs. I'd like to hear what you guys think. And it's a kind of a prelude to our, our tournament, our online tournament, which I have to now figure out what I'm going to do. Uh-huh. Though I think I know. Okay. 
Well, here, 45 minutes past the hour, it's time for Dorothy D. What would Dorothy eat? I like the mountains I in the background. I yeah. was going to change this to what would the chab dogs eat? Um, because this is why I'm doing this. I've been wanting you to do this for you, chab dog, for quite a while. Oh, thank um, you. I need it. Yes. About your Sheila G. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Sheila G. <laughs> Sounds like a girl. <laughs> Do you say it correct? How am I saying it correctly? She how do you say it? I think, isn't it? I say Shilajit. Shilajit? Is it a, I forgot how it's spelled. <laughs> yeah, Shilajit. I, I, yeah, I won't try and spell it. I, I just would say that I forgot to take it one morning, and um, I felt like shit on a stick. Well, I really did. That's, and I think that you can diagram it. Tell me more. Like, uh, tired? Yeah. Tired, weak, okay. worthless. Just wow. not wanting to get through the day. Confessions. And that's not okay. a good feeling. <laughs> Confessions. So I'm going to point out four things because I'm all about nutrition for men. And this is nutrition for men. Four, four things. attributes, Sheila G, that can help. And it's a sticky substance found in the Himalayan mountains. Um, the first thing is it prevents chronic, um, chronic tiredness, chronic fatigue. Oh, nice. So, and the reason why is because it improves your testosterone as well. Ah, which yes. Is, yeah. I'm carrying around yeah. more. Yes. So that's it. It yeah. There and there's studies. They did some studies on some rats, on the testosterone oh. and hey, um, <laughs> giving Shilajit twice a day, 250 milligrams. Mm -hmm. And after 90 consecutive days, the group that was receiving it had a significantly higher testosterone level. So they were, they were running around impregnating all the other rats? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Your boulders. laughs> after 90 days, the rats with the Shilajit really had bigger boulders. <laughs> so that could be why. Don't corner a rat, that's all, that's all I can say. Don't corner them. Don't drop the soap in front of a rat. Uh, so I'm let, let her finish. Still happening. Um, the thing that caught my eye, um, number two, what I like is it has been shown to prevent our slow Alzheimer's disease, which I have a close family member that is declining with that. And uh -huh. um, I've been mm. for a supplement to suggest him. So now because of you guys, I suggested this. Nice. Uh, okay. Hmm? Yeah. Yep. Nice. He is a... He's a Packer fan in my family, and he um, it and now what we'll be packing Shilajit, more. <laughs> mm -hmm. What Sheila does is that it prevents a certain protein from accumulating in the brain that oh. makes for Alzheimer's disease. Because okay. Sheila G is an antioxidant and prevents inflammation and damage from accumulating. So that's how that works. And then mm. um, number three, what I found interesting. Is it treats iron deficiency anemia, which I suffer from, um, mm -hmm. and so perhaps I will look into that. Yeah, why Eric can't knows. you take it too? You can yeah, take yeah. it too. Yeah, yeah, I'll get more testosterone. Well, testosterone. Yeah. And then, yeah, she may not want to build her testosterone, <laughs> but yeah, other than that, sure. Well, she could start bodybuilding more, and she could do, um, <laughs> yeah, and she could she could reduce her anemia risk of anemia. I, I think her body is pretty well built, bro. I, I mean, she was doing bodybuilding, so and you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. Okay. Might, might help and your workouts the, in the gym. Yep, yeah, before COVID, and mm. then last but not least, it supports heart health, mm. and that is our number one killer in America. Mm -hmm. well, um, mm -hmm. like, you know it and they did another study on rats where they um, had rats taking Shilajit mm. and then they injected them with isoprotenerol, which mm. creates a cardiac arrest. And <laughs> the rats had less heart injury than yeah. the rats. Yeah, that poor right rats. Kill you right here. The poor yeah. rats. They had poor to rats. endure so oh. much for our, our benefit. Mm -hmm. And we I hate know them it. still. It's like nobody um, wants to see a rat, but without them, where would our cancer be? Where would our research be? Yeah. Yep. That's okay. the caveat. But mm -hmm. It is Penn Till, and that is okay. my um, suggestion. I do suggest not taking Sheila G if you already are suffering from heart disease. Always talk to your doctor first, mm -hmm. but it does, like, there's um, some benefits. I might start taking it, and um, 
I say maybe continue if it's you're mm-hmm. having great results and can, more research is being done. Mm-hmm. Excellent. I'm uh, I'm all in for that. I'm, yes. I'm a yeah. card carrying well, member of the Sheila Gushi Society. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, Brad and I both. Yeah, Eric introduced me to it. Actually, I really want to thank you, buddy. Thank you. A- yeah, Eric told me the other day he was so sweet and made my day and reached out to make sure I was okay. And he told me you asked as well, Chad Dog, and that just touched my heart. I didn't know you had such a kind bone in your body. I care. <laughs> You saw my testimonial to my mother. You know what I have. I have a big heart in there. <laughs> yeah. I just don't like showing it all the about, time. I was like, oh, there's, I was like, Chab dog <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yep, he's so a soft thank you. Good heart. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I pick my, my moments. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, so do you want to talk uh, NBA playoffs? Oh, yes. You want to cover some playoffs here? I like to see yeah. what uh, people are thinking. Uh, uh, Abe, you can go first if you want. Are you going with the Clippers? Yes, I I like I like the Clippers. I think uh, you know that's a team that um, I I, gen- I try to root for um, simply because they're the underdog team here in L.A. But not so much, not so much this season. Mm-hmm. No, they're not underdogs, but are they good enough? Because I'm, I'm, I saw them recently without Kawhi Leonard, and it wasn't that pretty. I don't think they won that game. Um, they're in the West, and the West is a, a nightmare. I mean, there's so many Hello? good teams. There's 10 or 11 good teams in the West. So there's the 11. And we have Denver just sort of sitting there as a defending champion, extremely good. Uh I don't know what's going to happen in the West other than I have a feeling Denver's not going to be in the finals because I think there's just too many too many threats to them out there. Um, and I don't know if Jamal Murray is, is really the same player that he was last year. So somebody else, but I'm not sure who. I'm kind of leaning towards the, uh, wow, I don't know. I think I talked myself into a, Oh, bad. It might just help be is on the way. Could be Denver. Could be. It could be uh, the Lakers. Actually, um, Lakers. Oh. They're gonna. Fuck! Make it. Yeah. Fuck! They're not good. I like to think it'll be the Suns over the Lakers, but um, also, mm, what Lakers about Oklahoma? How about Oklahoma? They have a great record. Yeah, they're fucking pretty good. douche. But uh, I don't know. And I saw. You know what? I'll probably just fall back with Denver, but th- it's going to be tough. There's there's a lot of a lot of good, you know, even the Mavericks are good. Ugh. Giant black dildo. What do you think, Aaron? Out of the West, I'm sticking with I'm sticking with Denver. I'm interested in Oklahoma City. They just don't have a lot of experience. There's a lot of a lot of the, the other teams are like the Clippers are very experienced. Dallas has Luka Doncic, so they're always going to be dangerous. So, uh-huh. like you said, it's going to be a wild, wild west. It, we don't even know how the seating's going to shake out with that deadlock at the top. So, I'll yeah. just have to go with Denver because they're the defending champs. But it, yeah. it really is. There really is probably five or six teams that you could see doing it based you don't on think the data. lakers have a chance i like that that top five oh, is all really sure energy and then you have the superstars in the playing tournament so there, there really is a lot there's a lot to chew on there in the west mm-hmm. yeah everybody says that and it's true and but you don't think the lakers have enough to to get deep into the you know the into the playoffs to go to the conference finals like last year that would be surprising i think that would be surprising i could if they got past, I'd still I'd be surprised if they got past the first round. I know they, I know they did it last year, but well, yeah, they got to the finals. I, yeah, I'd be yep. surprised to get past the first round too. They're, they're going down. And Golden State's dangerous, but they just don't have a, a good big man, and uh-huh. eventually that hurts them. In the East, uh, I just don't see anybody beating the Celtics. Sorry, same. Celtics. Yeah. So we could have a lot of people picking the same thing. Yeah, you're right. Unless you guys want to be brave, no, and go I'm just with... gonna ride. I'm just gonna ride with the Knicks, even if uh, it means Knicks. that I just get crushed. <laughs> oh my God, that's a suicide mission, dude. The Knicks, the same team every year, 
Just bully. You got two seed. You're you about the same team every year. You and I can say they're the same old Knicks with Jalen Brunson playing like a superstar. Knicks could get the two seed, although they don't have the tiebreaker with Milwaukee, so they need Milwaukee to lose today, and they need mm. to beat Chicago. But I think they have the tiebreaker over Cleveland. I don't think they can fall back, but really don't want to fall back to four if that's possible, because that would mean Boston in the second round. And mm. obviously, like you guys said, everyone wants to stay it's away from the Boston juggernaut. So yeah. do you like? Uh, I'd be okay with the three. Two would be great. Mm. Three would be okay. But do you like the Knicks Preston. coach? I don't like that coach. I think he's. Wow, I love Thibodeau. He's great. You like him? He's a defensive guy. He's he doesn't. His teams never have good. Yeah, offenses. that's how the Knicks always. When Knicks have always won with defense, he was with Jeff Van Gundy, coach under yeah. Jeff Van Gundy in the nineties. So he knows how to win in New York. So he that was is in why I like for a Tom long Thibodeau. Time. They got him from the Bulls. Well, yeah, he was, the, had great success with the Bulls. Yeah. What if? What are you saying, Dort? What, about, what do you think about the Bucks? Doc Rivers. We love winners. You think Doc Rivers can Yeah, Doc Rivers is just gonna choke like he always does. And but, yeah. it's hard to see them getting past the Celtics. Yes, hurt recently again. Did you see that? He went falling to the floor holding Yeah, his... he got hurt. He got some kind oh, of yeah, injury. About that. yeah, it's a big deal. Giannis is kind yeah. of fr fragile. Um, the price is he, wrong, yeah. bitch. But I just, yeah, the Bucks have an impressive group of guys, so right. you would think they'd really give the Celtics a hard time. But right. for some reason, it hasn't gelled, and they're not, re they're not, they're they're winning, but not well, winning as much as you'd think. Well, hopefully, they never see That's the Celtics. That's the joke. Yeah. Yep. It's the Knicks. My dad feels the same. Like I wish they were as good as they are on paper. Mm -hmm. If I don't break your ball, I tell you to go home and get your shine box. You know who they got? They got Lillard from the Trail Trailblazers, who's a great guard. Yeah, yeah Lillard's good. Yeah. Right? yeah. They got rid yeah, of Holiday. He... They got rid of Holiday, though. Celtics have Holiday now. Bus, 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 bus. Boston just gave Holiday a big contract extension. Okay. Yeah, I liked him. Well, but Lillard's good, too, obviously. Superstar. Well, Lillard's the superstar. We'll see if, if Giannis has to sit out. Lillard really has a chance to explode and be the and they playoff got, hero. They got Lopez, the big guy. Yep. They love him. He's got uh, and Bobby, yeah. the big bug eyed guy. Oh, yeah. Bobby he Portis. He used to play for the Knicks. I like him. Yeah. Bobby <laughs> they Portis, love him. In he has the biggest bug eyes since um, the Mad, Mad, Mad World when the guy went down the hill. Remember that in the, uh, in the truck? How his eyes went. Vaguely. Like, yes. Yeah, we saw that clip yesterday. Yeah. You know, yeah Portis, is, Portis is a really useful player. He could shoot the three. He's right. got energy, rebounds the ball. Very good. And they had Middleton. Bobby. That, that's what they do in Milwaukee. Yeah. <laughs> what do they do? Yep. Bobby Bug Eyes? Cheese and beer. So they do in sounds, like, sounds like but, a gangster. But I think there are some t shirts that say that. The bug eye thing. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then and then there's the NHL. We got to give that a little attention. Um, yeah, the Red Wings gonna make it. As usual, it's impossible to know what's gonna happen okay. in the NHL. So anybody who thinks know. they know is deluding you. Yeah. So Abe, really. Yeah. I just know the Rangers are gonna lose painfully. Okay. Let's oh, see. Thank you the for stand including that. <laughs> this guy is famous. Uh, <laughs> Because the last so game, I think, is Tuesday, I want to say. Mm. Um, their games yeah. on Thursday. I saw their games on oh. Thursday, but the Rangers wrap up on Monday. It doesn't make any sense. Mm. Uh, everyone should finish on the last day. Well, yeah, I think we finish I want to say. You might as well so flip a coin. Outside looking in. You might as well, but they're my Boston Bruins up top on the Atlantic Division. Yep. I don't like that. Yep. Still in line for a big uh, flop in the playoffs. But they have a, they have a lot of talent. And we'll see if the Rangers can outflop them. Mm -hmm. You don't want to win that President's Trophy. You really don't. Except if you're the 1994 Rangers. So That's maybe... why I'm not worried about it. Everyone says the President's yeah. Trophy's cursed because the President's Trophy winner hasn't won the Stanley mm -hmm. Cup in more than a decade now. 
But it's going back to the 2013 Blackhawks. They did it. So but click on Rangers. Uh, always the Rangers won in '94. So I don't on care. I want to win. There's a standings. Go to okay. Wild cards. We want to see who's in line for the wild card at this moment. Yeah, if the Tampa playoffs Bay were to start today, the Red Wings and the Cow- the Capitals are tied. So what does that mean? Do they does they have to do a plan like a mini plan? Or they have to go to a tiebreaker. Yeah. So it looks like the Capitals have it. They won the tiebreaker. Uh, I think they do because the regulation wins. Oh, oh my God! What a mess! The Capitals uh-huh. have three more regulation wins. You got the Penguins, the Flyers, and the Red Wings, and the Capitals all within one point. So wow. Who knows what's going to happen? But the the Flyers have uh the Flyers have one more game played, so they have uh-huh. to hope for some losses from the other oh, teams. We know the Sabers yeah. are eliminated. Right. That's what we know. Sorry, sorry, Eric. Yeah, fifteenth year in a row. So that's what the the uh, East looks like, and now the West. Let's look at the West. Yeah. You got the Vancouver Canucks. Mm, I don't trust that. No first, way. First year back in a long time. Oilers are there. Kings, well, wow. gonna be spanking. So the the the, the the West is like is just basically set, right? Everything is set there. Yeah, and, I don't even yeah. know if they can change seedings. I don't mm. think. It yeah, like everything is clinched. Yeah. So who do you like in the West, Abe? Oh my goodness! Wow, I'm what cracking. do I like? Um. <laughs> I, I always like the Edmonton Oilers because I think they're just kind of a cool team and I like their logo. Um, mm. I like Kings being in it. Um, you know, that's always great. About Rather root for the home team than the Vegas Golden Knights. So um, that's who I, I like the most. I like the Edmonton Oilers and the LA Kings. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Blix, I'm yeah, sure. You have to root for Edmonton just to see McDavid do something in the playoffs because yeah. they always fall flat in the playoffs. But yeah, they're not they're quite... there once again. I mean, they got off to a slow start quite... this year, then went on a ridiculous winning streak, and now they're in, they're in good posi- They're in good position. They're not quite tough enough. The Colorado Avalanche are still a lot. To, they still present a lot to deal with. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if they get to the finals. I think it could be them, well, even the Stars. I think the Stars are good, and the Vegas Knights are still probably pretty pretty freaking good. Yeah, the defending I, champs coming out of that wild card spot. Yeah. Let's see if they can make some noise. So um, fill out your brackets, and um, I don't know. Should we, we, could, we could make people aware that uh, Bob Lilly was also um, impersonating James Hampton or vice versa. Yeah. You see that demo reel we we I sent you with James yeah. Hampton. Yeah, a lot of people don't know who this actor is, but well, we'll start with that. He looks a lot like Bob Lilly, and if you follow football history, you know Bob Lilly was the uh, Mister Cowboy, right? Bob Lilly? Yep. Mister Cowboy, like like Dallas that's what Cowboy? they called him, Mister Cowboy, because he was the first cowboy put in the Hall of Fame. He was the oh that guy generally recognized as the best defensive tackle of all time, I think. Uh oh! Do that funny scramble thing. God, what is that scramble yeah, thing? Is this another way YouTube is is getting back at me or something? I don't know. I, I suspect because you know it's worked. This cable's worked fine in the past without any difficulty. But we get volume. Day it decides to. Well, uh, there he is, right there. The actor you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Is, we would like to see a few more clips of him. Bad, yeah, we don't even see him in makeup at Team Wolf. Uh, there he is. Yeah, he looks better over here. Yeah, that's older. There we go. That's him older. Or the longest yard. Yeah, we'll caretaker. Play. They'll play that. Can we get sound or is that impossible? Oh, I'll give a few seconds of sound. Paul Crew. Hi. Oh, Hi. Uh, I hear you play some football. A little bit. Yeah, good. Where? Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State, you? Prison. <laughs> yeah. Well. There he is. Yeah. And Why would you say Oklahoma was... State, you, though? That, that exchange doesn't make any sense. <laughs> a, lot of Indi- a lot of American Indians are Oklahoma. 
Now we'll work on it. <laughs> what happens is this. Oh, the when giant. the core is That's his voice. put online, that is when it's activated, yeah. the yeah. control yeah. rods are lifted out. With them gone, the nuclear fuel sets up a chain reaction that produces a tremendous amount of heat that boils the water, that turns to steam, this is how that they turns make to turbine. Great. Yeah, that's yeah. it. This is Charlie yeah. That's how they grow right there. Charles syndrome. Oh, oh and then he was in F Troop. F Troop, which you adore as a boy. Yes. I used to oh, watch this from like I used to watch this from my crib. My mom would just let me watch this from my crib. Ken Berry. Yeah. Black and white are cards you used to make too. <laughs> Colonel Agar, Corporal Agar. Uh-huh. And Forrest Tucker. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> yeah, I like okay, that you can show the Bob Lilly. Yeah. So my little gray this. mare. Okay, Every time I brush guy. her up like this, her tail flies up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'm going to have this guy. For his enscribement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. At Hall of Fame. Five years old, he that worked doesn't... with his own there to share there that moment. Is. And that yeah. was my dad. That's a young James Hampton. Young, more in shape. James Hampton. Same Same voice. Voice. But there was one person. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're not the same person, but they sure look similar. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. They, you, you want cookie? Too bad that you can't show him playing football, too, because to watch this guy playing football is beautiful. Let's see. Maybe I can find a picture of him playing football. I don't know if they have anything here on this one. Oh, there. There's his uniform or something. There. Was he running in the crowd? I don't know. Yeah. There he is. He's running uh, next to an emergency mm. vehicle. Is it Zamboni on the field? What's going on? I don't know. Let it play. I can't. Uh, Let me take a step. Yeah. Like anyway. Okay. Well, I would just what say. What position did he play? He How played he defensive that? tackle. Okay. The guy was big, strong, and fast. Mm-hmm. And so he just like OJ on he defense. just created a lot of problems for quarterbacks and offensive linemen. OJ, if he didn't allegedly There's one va- very famous um, clip where the quarterback is in the Super Bowl, uh-huh. loses like 30 yards trying to avoid, uh, run back and avoid him, and uh, he he gets he sacks him for a 30 yard loss, and it kind of cha- seals the game. Mm-hmm. And um, That's he, pretty fantastic. He's like just one of those guys that I don't think he lifted a lot of weights. He was just he was just a natural you know naturally as uh, endowed for that position and 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 he was a big country boy and Mm -hmm. so he had that accent and they just loved him in dallas okay and so that's it um that's my little insight for the show um aaron knows about him right you know about bob lily right mr aaron Uh, yeah of course bob lily mr cowboy yeah. No, I thought he was a linebacker, not a defensive tackle, but I knew he was a great cowboy player. Yeah, I wasn't filled in on his acting career. Oh, well, that his act. This was a guy that looked and sounded like him, but they they were well, not obviously just a look alike. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought he could have been another OJ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, white OJ. He could have been yeah, a the, football the player general. and then an actor and then a someone who and cut people up allegedly uh, kill people. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, well, speaking of politics... Uh, that's how, about how, it. You, you want to talk Iran here? Uh, we, I don't know. Iran, Iran people so People seem to want to just Iran, not right. think about it. It's very unpleasant to think that, um, you know, we may have, like, a big, you know, war going on soon with, with a lot of damage and people I, I don't dying. I not happening, though. It's not in but the But the Israelis were yeah. able to stop that. Yes. And... Uh, Maybe it's just God bless the Iron Dome. Yeah, I mean, I was not sh- aware that it was that effective that it could do that, but I guess it is. So, yeah, we love still, with, with the Iranians' know. help, it was. But the Ale- Iranians telegraphed it, didn't they? I yeah, mean, exactly. So this was all for show. So this was something they felt like they had to do to save face. Pre- precisely. Yeah. This was this was this was all about honor. This has nothing to is do. Is that with what the story is? Yeah. Yeah, so it's, yeah it's, but there's. Yeah, they're still trying, and um, it's it's. It, it, I mean, it's it's sure skirted the margins here of war, and that's all don't it's delude yourself. Don't delude yourself this that this, not war. that we couldn't have something bad happen in this country with the way the border is set up. 
Well, if they decide to do a a terrorist act, I suspect a a terrorist act here that was pinned back on Iran would come with a military response that we wouldn't be so uh, forgiving as as, uh, Israel Uh, was. Well, let's see what happens. That's all I can say. But and Israel reserves the right to further it, respond. It's hard to I sleep at night. No, Aaron, can I confirm with you? Do you do you ever remember uh, Iran, the country itself, dropping munitions on Israel, the country itself? This hasn't happened before. No, it's never Has happened. It? Mm-hmm. Can't 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 recall. Yeah, I can't recall other countries. Yeah, Jordan and yeah. Syria and uh, Lebanon. They've heaved all kinds of shit all over Israel proper over the years, but I don't remember Iran ever dropping something. So this is a this is a precedence. So I mean you want to talk we really skirted the war here, but it is intentionally being skated because Iran is in no condition to fight anybody right now. So you know can't forget that yeah they can fly drones and they could be a pest, but they're in no condition to fight anybody, let alone Israel and, and Israel backed yep. by the US. No, they it's just it's not gonna it would not end well for them and they know it. So this is just a lot of hot air about nothing. And Israel had every right uh, to kill that general. A lot, a lot of people would die if it, they went to, went into like a ground war or something. But yeah, Iranians mostly, and it would topple the government, which is already in, on thin footing as it is. And they don't want to topple. They uh, uh, rulers kind of like ruling the place, so it's all good. Okay, this is power politics okay. going on here. Well, um, that kind of does bring us to the end of the show. So I don't know what else to say other than thank you for being on. I hope everybody got to, their, to put their two cents in. If there's a, any last words, well, what else I do. On? I uh-huh. one quick thing. Okay. I just wanted to say that um, our first, second, and third place winner, mm. at the very least, on our NBA and NHL playoffs, yeah. will win this fabulous glass. This oh, will be wow. awesome for the Chab Dog Sports. A koozie? No, it's not a koozie. It's- uh, uh, oh, it's glasses, store. Yeah. It will also be available on the store, but right. it's cool. It's like a glass that looks like a beer can, uh, but it's got our logo on it. And I thought, you know what? We haven't ever really given these things out. Uh-huh. I think you guys want to win this challenge so you can get this awesome glass. Wait, you're, you're saying you're hmm. saying that I can win two cups this this spring? You could win two cups <laughs> this spring. Wow. Hey, Abe, who who else won on the in the basketball challenge, other than? Well, Abe? we do have in the basketball yes. challenge. And that's the winners. Uh, let's see here on our basketball challenge. It'd be great to shout them out as well. Um, we have, of course, Chab Dog, who is our grand champion, the Grand Puba, uh, mm-hmm. Yukon. So great job on that one. Mm-hmm. We also have Tyler Myers. Tyler Myers. Uh, he Tyler also Miles. Uh, Miles, came Miles, Miles in the top three <laughs> and Minuteman Scott. So Minuteman Thank Scott you both and Tyler, Tyler Myler. And Minuteman. Tyler and Minuteman. Shout out to Tyler and Minuteman, yeah. the winners. Yeah, they beat my You, son, you were on badly. my heels. I was worried but about you. You got on this guy right here. Yeah. But my NC State came through, baby, because I think if Duke had beaten NC State, I would have gotten second. But my Wolf Pack came through. Oh. My wolf pack. Yeah. So uh, All right, I gotta get out of here. My wife's gonna kill me. Thank you okay. for participating. <laughs> have everybody have a great week. I will see you in two weeks. I'm I'm taking a trip next week. So um, sayonara. All right. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll be Good here. Eric's manning the fort. Okay. Goodbye. Everybody.